Guys, these are problems in our world. They are challenges that we face and we need to be able to look at them honestly and understand they are a problem. I'm telling you, there's, there's corruption in our systems that's systemic and it's not just in third world countries. We have real issues. I want us to get something tonight. There needs to be a reset because we have real challenges in our world that are not sustainable. We have to begin to find Find answers. And this is what I want to tell you. God has got all the answers. He already has them. Okay. He knows he created the world. He created us. He knows the best way to live in our societies. He knows the solutions that would help all of these issues. And he wants to give them to us. He wants some reset to take place because he is hearing the cries of people. He is seeing the injustice that goes on across the earth and he wants to he wants to answer it. But God has restricted himself to working through man, through you and I. And so in order for God to begin to answer the issues facing our day and facing our nations, he needs us. He needs the body of Christ. And where are we? with our heads stuck in the sand saying, I'm just going to hold on. We're going to be raptured out of here any moment. It doesn't matter. We'll just stay over here. Can you see how crazy that is? Really? Sometimes I think God's sitting there going, really, guys? Really? You know, let's go back. Read the word. See what it says. Okay. <laughs> because here's the thing, guys. In the absence of us actually being the solution and living out the solutions that God wants to give the world, in the absence of that, there are other people who are concerned about what they see. There are people who are looking at these issues and saying, this is not good. We need to fix them. And so mankind, man, you know, though even and those even outside of, of Christ, they're looking at them and they're concerned. They're often more concerned about the state of our nations and world than the church is concerned about it which is a terrible indictment on us, but anyway. Um, so they begin to try and create solutions to these problems. The challenge is they only have the wisdom of man, which is fallible and limited. The other challenge is that man can easily be influenced by demonic agendas and demonic wisdom because there's no doubt the enemy, he wants to put his systems and his patterns and his ways into society and his wisdom comes across as looking very noble and very good, but actually it leads to destruction and oppression and death in the end because that's what he's all about. And so there is a great reset that is happening. We're in that time. You can like it, not like it, put your head in the sand, ignore it. A reset is coming. I want you to know the reset is happening. The issue is simply whose reset is it going to be? Whose ideas are going to prevail? Whose solutions are going to be put forward that mankind can shape a way into the future and into uh, you know the new decade and even the new century that is before us. And I want to say to you that God wants it to be the church. God has always wanted it to be the church. Why? Because God's vision has always been that all nations would be blessed in the person of Jesus through the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom, that those nations would be blessed and we would build a habitation for his presence. God wants to live amongst his people and God wants a people who would be a blessing to nations. God wants a people, a body, the body of Christ. He wants a house, the house of God. That is a group of people joined together in homo thumidon who are looking at him and saying, we want what you want. And so we're looking at you and we're saying, God, we want to see nations blessed just like you do. And so, Lord, we want through us, we want to be the light. We want to show forth a better way. We want to show forth, uh, you know, financial economies and systems where all prosper, where we don't live beyond our means. We want to be live in nations and communities where the earth is thriving and it is beautiful and it is fruitful. We want to live in peace peaceful and prosperous societies where each person can be who God intended them to be. And guys, it's all there in God's word. Everything we have need of to actually be that house, to be that body, it's all there. And we've been given the Holy Spirit 
to help us be this light to the world. And that's what God is saying. I'm looking for this reset. I want to reset my body as the light to the world. I want her to come out from the caves and out of the places she's been stuck in. And I want to set her on a hill so that so that there can come solutions. There can be another way that while the world and people in the world and, and perhaps those influenced by the enemy, while they are proposing this way, which would lead to death, God says, I want to raise up a standard. I want want to raise up a choice for the nations. I want to show them that there is another way that we can do this. 